Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your weekend reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing to the channel. Please continue to do so. Um, what I'm doing going forward is every week I will choose two people um, from the comment section. Uh, whomever has the best comment in terms of how this reading resonates or how it doesn't resonate. You can't just say it, it doesn't resonate. You have to tell me why it doesn't. Um, your best in interpretation of some of the cards, whatever. How, you could be chosen to um, have me answer two questions for you via the tarot. Uh, so drop down in the comment section and tell me how it resonates or not. Um, and you could, you know, win to be, um, you could be chosen to um, answer, to get two questions answered, okay? Uh, I don't know why it was so hard to say that. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, comment section, you could be chosen to um, ask me two questions. All right, so moving on. This weekend, this weekend is, is about moving on. Um, some of you are going to do that fearlessly and effortlessly. No longer will you be hung up tied to the thoughts of, well, what if, wh why couldn't we, what if he, what if she, what if this, what, you know, you're really just going to take some action to actually move on to, um, yeah, you're going to actually take some action to, to move on to, to put this behind you. Whatever this may be, it is, and it's an act of choice because you can choose to stay in it. So for some of you, this could be a relationship, a person. Um, this could be a significant relationship in your life. A very pivotal choice that you have here in terms of what you'll do. Because see, the divinity in this card is the angel bringing you two people together. And then kicks in free will. The angel just does the, the, the bidding of you two meeting, you two having the opportunity. Now free will kicks in, you know, either it works or it doesn't work. There's drama or there's not drama, whatever. And, and, and that's where you are. So you have to make the choice here. Do you continue on this path or do you choose what might be better for you? What is more healthy? What fits in your life? where you feel like there's a you're useful or there's a your service to the relationship maybe even this could be career and finance the business or the job that you work you might be asking yourself you may be in that analytical nature of where would my service be be best um highlighted or, or useful where am i going to be useful am i useful or this is this useful a relationship job you may be asking yourself that question you're at a very pivotal point of making a choice to be in or to be out for some of you you're on the brink of a reunion or it could have happened or it will happen you might be needing to to make a head over heart decision you know is this best for me yes i love this person i like this person or whatever we have a real special connection but is it healthy um, does it fit in my life? Will I always be the chaser or the runner or will this be balanced? Once again, asking the question of usefulness, um, analyzing what has been given thus far in the job and the, the um, business or the relationship. Uh, for some of you, someone could want to come back to you they could even be showering you with gifts, um, their love, their devotion in some sort. And it'll be a physical and tangible thing. You're at a place of being sharp in your mind, trying to make a smart decision. Uh, you see that? Right. Trying to make a smart decision in terms of reunion, choices, which way am I going? Am I really letting this go? And some of you are at a place of really letting it go. It, it doesn't serve you. 
not at this point in this place in your life um and you're okay with that and uh, you, you finally you finally get to a place of letting it go it says for some of you also to jump into something a little different career and finance uh possibly um in order to have abundance you're going to have to put in the hard work you need to make sure that you are dedicated you are um adhering to um commitments that you've made in terms of your work um that you're being efficient because it's going to pay off it could pay off very big for you very well knight of pentacles and the king of pentacles but it's about you having that rule that structure that regimen maybe even learning a better way to be more efficient in your business um how you can streamline here uh, either you're learning or you're teaching okay uh, for some of you, you're in school and you may be even learning something or teaching something. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, some of you could be writing something or something written comes to you. If you're writing something, um, writing helps to release. For some of you, you need to write down your feelings. You need to write down how you're feeling because you, ha you really haven't processed it. If anything, you're pushing it down. Even, even even if you write it down and it goes nowhere, it just stays in your diary or your journal or your book, whatever, you need to get it out. There needs to be some release here. Um, yes, yeah, self-care is highlighted. You need to be taking care of yourself. And that is going to come by way of maybe um, making this, this choice that puts you in a place of asking yourself, is this best for me? You know? Is this useful in my life? Is it healthy? Is it Does it fit? Is there a level of fitness here? Um, that's pretty much what I see here. Um, these readings are going to be kind of short because I'm got i going to try to do all of them. Uh, some of you, it's going to be hard for you to get out of this mental prison and really move on because there's a lot of memories here that you either have with a job, person, place, or thing. Um, and you may be feeling like it's really hard you see that it's really hard um, to stop um, to stop putting effort, time, energy into, or to stop um, thinking about this person. It says in, in, in order in order for you to have abundance, like true abundance. I don't think any of you are at a place of just being broken down or or um, impoverished. But in order to not ever experience lack, be efficient. In your business, be efficient, be hardworking in your job, in your business, and whatever you're trying to bring into fruition, because it really could work for you. Um, the cards also want you to know that someone ran away from this connection um, because you are everything they prayed for, or vice versa. Cross watcher, um, maybe someone may even write that to you in a letter. Okay. Uh, letters nowadays are text, right? Text message, email, I guess. Um, but in terms of a reunion and coming back together, you need to be clear about and firm about where you stand. Um, asking yourself those questions. Is this useful for me? Will I get what I want? Is this going to be a third party situation? Uh, you know, all of those things. Um, because the cards want you to know it's entirely up to you, okay? What you do here, um, some of you may even experience a level of romance, I guess, if you do decide to jump back into or to continue. Um, and it could even come from someone else. This is definitely a reading of finally walking away from something that just doesn't serve you. Some of you are concerned about a family member. They might be elderly. Um... It looks like they're going to be okay. Okay. Um, do send your prayers, well wishes with that person. Um, really decent weekend, you know. Um, you might even meet someone significant. Just not exactly sure here because I'm reading for so many of you. But um, make sure that you're making decisions with a sharp mind. You're making a smart a smart decision here um, that puts you first, okay? All right, so Aquarius, I hope that this reading resonated with you. Go over to the website, book your own reading there. 
Um, you can also text a question or a to the number below. Pay for your question, receive the answer to your question all on your mobile device. Questions are $10 each. Take advantage of that. Um, thank you for being here. Have a really good weekend.